to you. Guess what? It's our favorite topic today. Operational expenses. Yay! No, not really. That is the, that's like the worst thing that we have to go through. As salespeople, we hate the operational part of it. However, the operational part is what makes us the most amount of money. Our systems, our amazing support staff that we have. So let's talk about operational expenses. We need to make sure that when, when here's, here's the challenge that we have. So there's different costs associated with running businesses. So let's talk about the stages. If you're new in business, we'll call you a solopreneur, right? You're just starting your team, you're just starting um, into business. You have a lot of front-loaded costs. So you have to get systems, we have to get admin, we have to start with lead generation, there's a lot of setup costs, um, all that. So there's a lot of operational costs up front, and you haven't reaped the benefits of the return of it yet. So you've got a lot of these expenses operational expenses up front that's going to show you spending a ton of money not making a ton of money all right now as the months go by you don't have to spend as much all the setup fees have already been paid okay all of the initiation fees already been paid now it's a monthly reoccurring set fee so that set fee is now at a fixed amount so now you're just paying your paper click paper impression so on and so forth now, as business comes in, our cost of doing business actually decreases because this is a standard fee now. But what you have to make sure that you do is when we originally sit down and talk about business. Now, let's go into the next step, okay, real quick before I back into that. Let's go to the next step of doing business. We're going to say we're in the medium part. We've gone from a solopreneur to an entrepreneur. We've now created a team. No matter what type of business that you're in, we've created a bit of a team now. So we've got a, a, a group of people that are, we'll say three to five people. We've now got our business model in place. We've got a solid operations. We paid for systems. We've got a solid amount of people in place. And now we want to, we want to launch it to the, to the next atmosphere. It's time to launch. Now what? Well, what we need to do is look at what the cost per person is. Okay? So we need to look at the cost per person. We always say, oh, well... To pay for 30, 25 to 30 leads per salespeople, it's costing me X, $100, $120 a lead okay, um, for a salesperson. Now, we also have to look at, okay, with that, how much is my stress test for my operations people? So if we have a transaction coordinator, how many transactions can they handle a month? What's my stress test? We always look at the sales side of it and say, oh, I could drop an extra grand on paper, um, click paper impressions, Facebook marketing, ad campaigns, anything else you want to do, but we don't look at the operations sides as much. We've got to see what that stress test is going to be, and we have to budget for the operational expense. Because as sales go up, if we're not looking at what the stress is going to be on our operations side of it, you're going to start failing service-wise. We can't do that. That service is our reputation. Our brand is your reputation. So make sure you're looking at the operational expense when we're getting ready to grow our company. Make sure that we're looking at what not only we need to invest into the marketing side of it, but what we need to invest to make sure that our brand, that our reputation, that our client experience is going to stay at that 5 plus rating. All right? So, again, make sure that we are looking at both sides of the business. Everybody looks at the marketing side of it, sales, marketing, advertising, lead gen. We've got to focus on the operational expenses. We don't want to prepay for too much. However, we've got to look. You don't want to go and say, oh, you know what? We can do it now. We can catch up later. Wrong. Sometimes you've got to pay a little bit up front to make sure that we're keeping that client experience, which is going to keep our marketing in place, our advertising, our reputation, the culture, and the client experience in place. All right? Put that in place. Make sure you're doing your business plan correctly. Make sure you're doing your stress test correctly. Have an amazing Wednesday, and I'll talk to you next week.